Abhi Mule, uh, presenting the pre-submission seminar, the PhD on the topic study, analysis, and refinement of these twin ciphers under the guidance of Dr. Ardi Karaka and uh, my research center is GHRC Nakpur. These are content of my presentation, introduction, attacks on the ciphers, problem definition, literature survey, analysis and refinement of the algorithms, proposed implementation approach, then result discussion, conclusion and finally the references. Here, the basically, uh, encryption is the process of uh, uh, transferring the information to those who is having some special things that is nothing but the key. The need for the encryption is for the government organization, the common users and uh, then uh, organization of digital rights management. The two main principles are there in the cipher, that is one is the confusion and other is the diffusion. Here, in case of the confusion principle, sorry, yeah, in case of the confusion, here uh, A is replaced by some and so on and we are generating the cipher text. And in case of the diffusion principle here, the message remains the same as it is, the only the position of the message is going to change. Means here, in this case, the key is 376159482. Means here, the column 3, SMTU, it is written first and so on. And here, we are not differentiating the words THE, is, and so on, because it is a bunch of the five characters. Because in the English language, we can predict if it is a three letter word, generally it is the. That's why this thing is used in case of the encryption algorithms. Here is one example here. For this particular key, if it is a ciphertext, if it is a ciphertext, so key is a three, it is written here, that is third column, then seven, seventh column, and then finally if I am doing this, we will get something here. And uh, this is the message from Mary Stuart kill the queen. And this encryption is used by the terrorists in Bombay bomb, uh, uh, bomb blast. And these are some encryption techniques. And these are the some information transferring and attacks. One is the communication. This kind of the attack is interruption, then modification, then interception, and finally it is a fabrication. And here, these are some standard attacks. There is ciphertext only, known plain text attack, chosen plain text attack, and again here chosen ciphertext attack. Now here I will focus on only one parameter that is nothing but the ciphertext attack only. This is one is common user attacks is brute force and the other is the frequency analysis. I will give some points related to the brute force attack. Here, if it is uh, the ciphertext, the uh, evos dropper or attacker gets the key one by one. Initially he will guess the key as one then it is 2, then 3, then 4, it will check all the possible combinations and he will find out the data and that is nothing but here data is Caesar is insecure, Caesar is one kind of decipher again. Now here, what is the frequency analysis? Frequency analysis is another kind of the attack in which uh, the attacker find out the frequency of the characters in the English. In the English, the free, more frequent used letter is L and in this particular uh, cipher text, the used letter is L, that's why he will guess, uh, it is 4 times, there is less, uh, more frequent used letter, and he will guess the key, and key is the 7, using that particular key, he can decrypt the text. And this is another attack, which is nothing but the frequency analysis attack. These are the classifications, cryptography, cryptography and cryptanalysis, then symmetric, asymmetric, unkeyed, and so many, I'm focusing on this part, cryptography, symmetric, then stream ciphers and I uh, am focusing on the stream ciphers, that is the synchronous stream ciphers. This is the problem definition and the proposed approach. Proposed research was aimed to study and analyze different stream ciphers. For study, we have taken these. There is no thesis, ZUC, Sociomonic, Felix, Lay 2 and RC4. And here, while doing this research, we are focusing on some of the key parameters which are weak key, key vulnerability, threat, exploit, risk, risk, assignment, different attack, simplicity, encryption, key speed, and uh, memory space, energy consumptions, and so many parameters. Now here, while selecting these algorithms, we have not selected these algorithms randomly, but we have followed some approach. Now here, 
some approach, the proposed work will be implemented on the hardware platform. The system will be realized uh, by using some parameters and uh, uh, these are some objective of the work. Now here choice of the stream cipher. We have selected two stream cipher that is Snow 3G and ZUC. It is based on 3GPP LT. That is, it is used for 3G and 5G and LTE communications. The two algorithms. Then the two algorithms are selected from eStream project because specially this project is designed for, uh, specially selected for designing of the stream ciphers only because in one of the project that is NISI project uh, block ciphers are selected, stream ciphers was rejected. That's why the group was formed that is eStream and we have selected these two algorithms. The next algorithm we have selected it is Lily2. This algorithm is selected because it has a compact design and easy to implement. And finally, we have considered RC4 stream cipher because it is widely studied, secure and simple algorithm because lot of research work is carried on the RC4 algorithm. Now here, choice of the platform. For the implementation uh, of the cipher provide the two generally hardware and software kind of the thing. Here, the software platform offers a limited physical security, especially with, the, with respect to the key storage. That's why we have preferred the hardware implementation. And the security is concerned cannot be easily modified by outside the attacker because key is stored in the hardware. And the majority of the modern security protocols, just like SSL, and these use the multiple encryption algorithms in the sessions. Encryption algorithms in the session. That is the choice of the platform. Here is a literature survey. Now here. Uh, work carried out by this researcher is the uh, implementation of the algorithm by using CLA that is carry look ahead adder and they have used uh, memory of 32 into 56 bits for the implementation of the S-box and what we found here research gap identified this CLA can be replaced by another modified CLA which will be compact in design and uh, its uh, speed will be the more lookup table can be modified to minimize the hardware Similarly, Xbox implemented swipe and shift. The proper design will be you implemented in the hardware because this is implemented in the software. You can implement in the hardware. Similarly, the proposed design you just modular to risk for 31 minus order because this is the requirement of the ZUC string cipher. This you just the more hardware. Hardware can be minimized by using this particular approach. Then here another uh, method is implemented uh, by some researchers. And then uh, this is implemented by using CAT tool, uh, that is a synopsis maybe 0.18 and here throughput can be improved by using some uh, adjustment in the design. And here again the function FC for the Lily 2 function FC, we can make it as compact and uh, similarly need of the KC and PRG we can modify uh, as far as the RC4 algorithm is concerned, PRG can be modified to uh, robust again some attacks. And here I will start with the first algorithm which is nothing but the snow 3 because I have the st six stream ciphers selected for the research and uh, out of that is one is the snow 3 z Here just I have made animation to understand its working in brief. This is the structure proposed by uh, the uh, researcher and here it consists of the mainly two parts that is one is initialization mode and key stream mode. In case of the initialization mode we have the, uh, some key it is divided into the parts and then IV is divided into the parts and then we can we are able to generate by these using formulas we are able to generate these parts and this is used as initial key for the linear feedback shift register. Now here in this case this is uh, the whatever we have generated it is loaded and then here we can run the cipher and uh, we can uh, after the completion of the key stream mode we will enter into uh, the, the key generation mode and here this is the output related to that. This is just working and here what we are focusing the analysis of the smooth rosy. Here study of the snow 3G concludes FSM is the complex part in the snow 3G architecture. This is my finding. Now here study involved two findings here. One is modular order architecture in F FSM is increasing the delay. And S-Box in the FSM consumes the more area, this hardware. Now here detailed analysis of the SMF shows that adders and S-Boxes need to be redesigned and carefully to overcome these drawbacks. Now what we have done, now here this is the related work related to that, that is kit source implemented and uh, then uh, uh, other researchers and proposed work. What we did here, we have proposed novel CLA architecture to minimize the delay and CLA designs. And we have used novel multi-core architecture to minimize the memory requirement in the, this particular algorithm. Now here what we have done, 
Now here, while designing the CLA, basic component is nothing but the full header. And here what we have, in case of any addition, the LSB carry is always zero. C0 is always zero. And in case of this, if the C0, this is the design. And here, this is the general design and this is modified design. Now here, in this case, if this is the C0, always the LSB is zero for every addition, always. And if this is zero, in that particular case, zero is applied to this NAND gate. It can be, uh, this complete part can be minimized here and so on. Means we are able to minimize the hardware by using this particular concept. And we have implemented this 32-bit modulo adder. And this modular and here I have shown the comparison. This is existing architecture CLA, that is modified CLA, conventional CLA, and this is the proposed CLA by us. This is hardware used by the previous design, and this is hardware used by the current design. This we are able to minimize hardware. Now here, this is the comparison for that four input annuities. This is for my design, this is for previous designs. And here it shows that four input LOTs occupied slices and uh, the slices contain a relative on everything it is that is optimized. Then here this is uh, the performance in terms of its uh, output delay. Means here this is the delay for my design and this is delay for the previous design. Means we are able to minimize the time required for that computation as far as the single adder is concerned and we have the so many adders in the design. Similarly, existing ROM architecture, this is one memory requiring, that is, uh, uh, it, it requires 1 kilobytes of the ROM. This is 1K, 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 means in all we need 4K here and 4K here, that is 8K ROM is required for the designing of the S-Box. What we done here, in place of using this design, we, because these are, or these ROMs are containing the similar content shifted by 8-bit version. And if we are able to see this 8-bit version in the output side, means what I have done, I have designed this architecture. This is for low speed and this is for high speed. Means this is single ROM. The single ROM is capable of providing four outputs parallelly. Here I have used the counter initially for first address, second address, third address and so on. And this design can give the output for every address. And this design minimizes the memory requirement by three-fourth. Means I need only one-fourth of the memory as far as the memory required in the old designs. Now here, this is Snow 3G architecture which I have implemented. This is uh, uh, the uh, tool which I have used. This is the device uh, that is Vertex I have used in this particular case. These are the consumption of the hardware. This is the RTL schematic and this is the uh, simulation window for the same. And this is the comparison. This is the proposed architecture bias. This is the uh, architecture proposed by other researchers. Now here, the S-Box memory requirement for our design is only the 2 KB. Here is 8 KB, 8 KB and 8 KB. Hard, that, that is throughput achieved. Here, the other researchers achieved the throughput sometimes better than my design. But here, the memory requirement in my design is less as compared to the other designs. Here, these are the some justifications regarding, uh, this is comparison. And these are the justifications regarding uh, the throughput of the other researchers may be higher than our design. Now here, initialization phase of the architecture 27 is implemented in the software. That's why their throughput is more and hardware is minimum. Memory used for the S-Box implementation of 27 and 29 is more than proposed architecture. That's why their throughput is more than our uh, throughput. Implementation is ASIC. Implementation uses this much number of the uh, counts. Because I'm not using the backend design. I'm using the front end and I'm using the VSD language for the implementation. That's why here, my design, if it is compared with the ASIC, then it is ingested to the FPGA designs because ASICs are uh, that is the backend designs and our design is the front end design. This is related to the uh, first spin cipher. Then I will come to the second spin cipher, which is nothing but the ZDC. Again, it consists of the initialization phase and key stream mode. Then here, this is some working. Again, I have made some animations here. Again, here we have the key, and the key is divided into so many parts. And then we have the IV, that is initialization vector. Then some constant is there. Then here, in this particular case, uh, we will calculate the initial values required to be loaded into the LFSR, that is linear feedback shift registers. And after this calculation, all these calculated values in the hardware, because we are doing this calculation also in the hardware, these calculated values are loaded here. In this particular case, these are loaded into the uh, there is a, um, LFSR. And then finally, it will run. 
Initially for 32 clock cycle cycles in initialization mode and then we will uh, run it for the n number of the times for the keystream generation mode. And here, this is related work, this is proposed work. Now here, what, just a bit go, study and analysis of the generation. Means what, is, what, is, what are our findings? During the research work, study of the generation stream cipher is contributed to outcomes. One is, one is the feedback path and another is a nonlinear function. Modulo address available in the feedback path are nonlinear function beside the critical path because in the feedback path we have total 10 address. It is original design. We have the 10 address. Means our aim is here to minimize the feedback path delay. That is the critical path of the algorithm. Then we are using the fast address and pipeline architecture in the feedback path to minimize the critical path delay. Proper design of the S boxes again we have preferred here. Now here these are the related work related to that area. Now here this is this addition 2 raised to power of 31 minus 1 because this addition is a must or part of the design. And this can be implemented by using the two address. Miss. Just go back. Yes. 31. No, go back. Yes. 31. Go back. Yes. Yeah, here. Modular orders available in the feedback. Sorry, this is 31. It is 31. Sorry. Now here in this case, 2 raised to power 31 minus 1 adder implementation requires 2 31 bit adders. And here that's why the total address available in the feedback path will be that is 11 plus 1, 2 address are available in the FSM that is nothing but plus 2 that is total is nothing but 10 plus 2 that is 12 uh, address are available in this design. Now what we have done? The adder one, this is the same as the adder which we have preferred in the slow 3G architecture. But this adder, what it does, it adds only the constant one. The rest of the things are not required. That's why many things becomes redundant in the original architecture. That's why here, this is the full adder, sorry, 4 bit adder, this is 4 bit adder, this is 4 bit adder, and finally, this is 31 bit adder for calculation of 2 raised to power of 31 minus 1 addition and this is adder 2. Just I will go back here. This is adder 2 and this is adder 1. This adder 1 is very same as the adder which I have used that is compact adder in the snow 3G architecture and this adder is nothing but adder its hardware is minimized further because here so many things are not required in this design because here our target is to add just the value constant 1 to that particular architecture that's why here it is again minimize the architecture and finally this is the comparison. This is the comparison of the CLA architecture. This is the number of uh, uh, LUTs. Uh, number of uh, LUT. This is implementation. That is previous implementation. This is proposed implementation. This is proposed implementation. Means we need minimum hardware in this particular CLA architecture also. And here we have three adders. One is the conventional. This is conventional. And this is uh, that is adder one, which is used in the modular adder architecture and this is second adder because we need the two adders this is adder which I have used in the snow 3G architecture this is also modified and this is another adder which, which is again hard hardware is further minimized and here in this case uh, uh, snow that is a S box of the ZUC it is it needs again 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 8 S boxes in place of that again we are using the two S boxes with linear transfer function uh, that is non-linear function here and it will minimize the memory requirement by the three-fourth. Again, we need only one-fourth of the total memory in this particular case. This is the pipeline architecture implementation. Here, how this pipelining is uh, working that I have mentioned here. That's it. And here, this is JDC architecture. These are, these are the implementation. These are the hardware resources used. This is the result. And here is the comparison. Comparison, this is the proposed architecture. It needs only 512 bytes of the memory. And we are achieving the throughput of, it is in the MBPS. That is, a, that is a 5412 MBPS is the throughput achieved in this particular architecture. Whereas, this architecture achieves the through, throughput better than our architecture. Because this architecture is a ZUC old architecture. Means, what is the difference between ZUC regular architecture and old architecture? This I will come back here. Now here, Whatever this modular adder, these are the modular adders in the new design. In the old design, these adders are replaced by the XOR gates. That's why 
this particular design is faster and in this particular case its throughput is greater than our proposed architecture throughput otherwise almost we are using one fourth of the memory requirement of the other architectures this is throughput justification again then here I have taken the next uh, uh, algorithm which is nothing but the Felix. Now here this is the flow of the Felix. What is our contribution here? In this particular case, I will go to that particular <laughs> part of the graph. This is H block is major requirement. This is working, the nonce expansion, then keyword generation, then initialization process, map generation. So, and here, the study and analysis of the Felix shows that here. Felix consists of 13 modular address, that is again its modular addition is over 2 raised power of 32. Maximum delay in the critical path is based on the working of the address. Sub key generation is offline in many times, but we are using online. Proper design will minimize hardware, improve the performance, and Felix has an inbuilt Mac function. Now, here in this case, this is the related work to that area, and this is proposed work. What we are using? We are using only one H block because H block is the major hardware consuming part of this design. And we are using the same H block for key expansion, for working phase, and similarly for the map generation. And here, this is architecture. In this design, we have to use many, that is, muxes to make the same H block used for other architectures. This is uh, the architecture, these are the implementations, these are the comparison. Now, here, this is the uh, throughput of the proposed architecture. This is the throughput of 45, this is 47, and this is uh, again 47, because 47 has proposed uh, the three methods. And out of that, uh, here I have shown the two methods, and here the implementation is in review process, because I have implemented this another architecture again. And finally here, Throughput justification, implementation has taken the throughput is in comparison with ASIC because other implementation in this particular case available on the platforms are nothing but the ASIC and our implementation is nothing but the FPGA implementation. Here, Just the, go back. yes. One more. One more. Yes. So the same reference. One is two architecture means that reference they have the three designs. Design one, design two, and design three. Here I have considered maximum and minimum. What is the difference? They have used the parallel architecture in this design and the um, uh, simple architecture in this particular case. Design one, design two, design three. Three designs are Sorry, our design is normal. We have not used the pipeline as well as parallel architecture. But still, actually, Actually, uh, this the, these researchers. I will go back. When was that in Pakistan? Sorry? Which year? Uh, maybe it is uh, 2009 or 10, 47. This is parallel. Oh, this is parallel. I will show that line. Then here, I have taken another architecture which is Sosumeric. And here, this architecture consists of the two again uh, phases, that is initialization phase and then working phase. Here, this is one of the algorithm that is serpent. And uh, uh, one of the computation was there in case of the uh, block cipher finalization of the AES. And uh, two algorithms are the finalists. One is the Rajendal algorithm selected as AES and another is the Serpent. This algorithm is not selected because it will take uh, the longer time. That's it. Otherwise, the security of this algorithm is more than the AES, whatever existing right now. This is key, uh, key scheduling, key injection. Then finally, the rounds of this algorithm, then initialization phase, then working phase. And this is, these are the key points. This algorithm, uh, I, it is uh, based on the SNOW 2.0. And uh, again, uh, it has an aim of uh, uh, having the minimum uh, stages of the S. That is uh, LFS of stages, that is uh, the case. And uh, here, the study and analysis of this algorithm shows that the hardware consuming and less utilized part of this algorithm is nothing but the serpent. Because this is used only for key generation or initial key generation which is to be loaded into the LFSR. That's why uh, many of the researchers they implemented that particular part in the software and remaining part uh, in the uh, hardware. But we have tried to implement both on the hardware. Uh, the same architecture of the uh, S-Box used in the uh, Snow 3Z as well as used in the ZUC is used for this implementation also. And uh, this is Serpent, then this is internal architecture and this is the comparison. Now here, this is throughput of our design. 
and the throughput proposed by this uh, another uh, researcher that is Gautam Pal, they have achieved this throughput. Uh, uh, it is a lot of more than that, uh, our architecture, because they have used uh, another approach. And that approach is nothing but uh, 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 improving the performance of the stream cipher. That kind of the approach is there. Uh, and that's why their throughput is more than uh, our throughput. But as far as the using of the memory is concerned, we are using the less memory. This hardware utilization is minimum in our design again. Then here, <laughs> leading to this is a simple design. But <laughs> the implementation done by some researchers has some drawback. And just I have pointed out here, uh, these are the drawbacks. Old implementation uses full adder. It, it can be avoided. We can use a smaller design here. And the previous implementation uses clock pulses, mechanism, and logic generate, uh, that is LFSRD, that is four state depending on the value of the function FC. This we are having the two things. One is regular clock and uh, another is irregular clock. And for that particular case, they are using the two different clocks. And it, no, it might not be the good for as far as the high-speed architectures are concerned. That's why what we have done, we have tried to use only the single clock for this design as well as this design because this is LFSRC and this is LFSRD. And we, our architecture, or this proposed architecture, will able to shift the content of the register by 4, 2, 3, or 1 uh, bits in a single clock cycle and previous uh, architectures use just 4 clock cycle for 4 shifting, 3 clock cycles for 3 shifting and so on. That For that purpose here we have used this kind of the architecture and here uh, this architecture helps us to shift the content of the shift register in the single clock cycle maybe by 1 digit, 2 digit, 3 digit and 4 digit depending on the value of the function fc. fc is 1, it should be shifted by 1, 2 then shifted by 2 and so on. Now here in this design, what we have done, now here this is the function FC, this is full adder consuming the more hardware, but here if it is implemented in the proper way, it will need only this much hardware is sufficient that I have elaborated in this particular portion of the slides. And then finally, I will come to, uh, this is the, these are the Lily architecture, this is again throughput by this architecture or uh, by Kitsos architecture is more than our, but our design uses everything. This content of the shifting by uh, one digit, two digit and so on and hardware requirement is the minimum again in our design, our proposed design. Here justification of the throughput here and finally my last design is the RC4 stream cipher. Now here in this case lot of research work has gone on this particular algorithm. This is the original algorithm. Then here this is the old architecture used for that and this is analysis of the, this particular cipher. Analysis shows that during the research work, probability of generating zero output at the second round. This is the drawback of the RC4. RC4 can be attacked completely if the portion of the key is known, if some portion of the key is known. Then existence of the key correlation is uh, there and to break this we have modified this particular algorithm by using some other concepts. Now here existence of the relation between the internal states of the S box uh, will again increase, increase the, uh, the uh, it will attack, uh, attack will increase on this particular algorithm. Now here these are some research work. This is the proposed algorithm in place of having uh, KSA, 3 layer KSA use. Miss here in this case it will do the scrambling in the decreasing order. It is uh, uh, that is randomly and it is uh, the odd number and even number that kind of the thing. And this is the proposed uh, that is RC4 that is a PRGA that is zero random generation algorithm for the RC4. This is the architecture and this is the detail layout of that particular architecture. And this is uh, the state diagram for this architecture. And uh, finally these are the implementations and uh, here these are the comparison. This is proposed without Lily and this is proposed with Lily. Means what we have done, this algorithm itself has a parallel structure. I will show here. This algorithm has a parallel structure. Same thing generated here and generated here. What we are doing, these are the s -ramps. Here, it's scrambling will be done, it's scrambling will be done. But finally, we want to break the relation between the bulbs. That's why what we are doing, its content will be shifted with its content and its content will be shifted with its content after the encryption of every last byte. That's why the scrambling will be difficult. And finally, to add more security here, we are using multiplexer here and we are adding here another stream cipher that is nothing but L, that is Lily 2. This Lily 2 will select one of the stream randomly from the available stream and the security of the algorithm will be doubled 
in this particular case. This is the architecture related to that. And uh, uh, this is the throughput. If I am not considering the lily part, if I am considering the lily part, then throughput will increase. And uh, here, these are the hardware utilizations. There is comparison of the selected stream ciphers. Whatever I have selected, the six stream ciphers. Out of that, this Snow 3Z stream cipher has the highest throughput. And this RC4 without Lily architecture has the minimum throughput. Similarly here, as far as the comparison of the hardware utilization is concerned, here, this Lily 2 architecture uses minimum hardware as compared to the hardware used by other algorithms. And finally, if I am concluding here, the comparison of the results shows that selected stream cipher shown in the uh, previous slide, that is, uh, the Snow 3G is a stream cipher higher than the selected stream ciphers. The throughput of the ZUC is moderate. The throughput of the RC4 is the lowest, but security is the highest for RC4. The hardware requirement for refined RC4 is more out of the all comparison. Minimum hardware is required for the Lily 2 stream cipher. And this table shows the suggested stream ciphers as per the application key size. Means if the key is a concern for the application, then this Snow 3G ZUC RC4 Lily 2 can be used for GSM applications. Then 120 is considered that AES Snow 3G can be used or replaced for AES ZUC RC4 and this Lily 2. Then wireless LAN. Then uh, similarly 256 bit and 128 bit. Then RFID and WS and then Bluetooth. These algorithms may be suggested. Sorry. Alpha and alpha. Yes. Hmm. The scope is not no sir. Here, uh, so so many can fill no, yeah. All can be used. Yes, yes, yes. And this is the future scope. The actual attacks on the Snow 3G and ZDC are not published until today. But side channel attack and differential power analysis techniques are used by the researcher sometime to gather information about the key. And uh, the countermeasures for these attacks may be analyzed and incorporated in the future design. And these are my publications. And here, this is novel carry look editor. This is published in uh, the journal, which is uh, published by Institution of Engineers. I got the second prize for this. And then, performance of the uh, uh, Snow 3C. This I got the first prize for this particular paper. And then, uh, some of, and I got the research funding from Savitri Bhai Phule Pune University. That is two lakh uh, research grant I uh, got for this particular. Uh, research work and these are some references. What is missing? One slide. Thank you, slides. <laughs> yeah, how do you compare these four? You know, you have the your snow, the yeah. two. Yes. Why? Why only these four? Why not others? Why? Uh, no, while selecting. Oh, just a hard question. Uh, while selecting the algorithms, uh, what? The basis for only this. There are many, many more. Uh, more uh, uh, thousands uh, of algorithms are available. Yeah. But uh, what we have done, we have selected this algorithm, this six, and selection criteria of these algorithms. What we have done? These are the two latest algorithms. This is for 5G, 4G, Snow 3G. Uh, this is the second set of the encryption algorithms available right now. And this ZUC is also second set of the algorithms available for the same. These are the two latest algorithms. We have considered those. These two algorithms, because my topic is the same set. Comparison meaningful I mean, from other literature when you do. This platform is same to compare. You, know, you say that I have reduced my full adders. I have reduced the mindset. Is it okay? Justify? Uh, sir, uh, yeah. I tried to uh, yeah. use a similar platform. Yeah. Those used by the researchers. Otherwise, difficult, not the comparison. Yeah. Co comparison because. because yeah. Third one is throughput. Yeah. Is the only thing anything else can be part of performance. Uh, you have taken the throughput and then... I have taken the throughput as well as... Uh, the number of device... Uh, device, hardware use. Any other... Consider uh, the client that your algorithms are better than That is security of the algorithm. But it, it, it cannot be defined in, some, in terms of some parameters. Maybe the power consumption, that may be the another... Uh, that has not been estimated. Uh, I have not estimated that. So in the future, if it will. Yes.
power is consumed. I mean, less power is consumed. Yeah, because I tried to minimize the design. Hardware utilization, I have tried to minimize it. The time naturally goes down. Yeah. Any other? Any other figure of merit? Think of. Good. Yeah, questions from? For security, for measuring the security, sir, some performance index may be there. May be there. Because security is the critical issue in these algorithms. Yes, sir. Researchers might have used huh. some performance. How secure? You know, how quantified? Huh. So, it's not full proof, no? It, it is difficult to say. It's this okay. is uh, a bulletproof. Bullet can also be here through yes, it. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Powerful yes. yes. See, the, if you add that, that will enhance the beauty yeah. of your research. Yes. <laughs> because that is important.